Hey, what's going on everybody? Just creating a simple little guide on how to make overloads. It's a pretty simple process, and there are some requirements. You need 96 herb lore to completely make an overload potion. And that's pretty much about it. Now, to make an overload, you are going to need a, a couple things. You're going to need a full super set, so you're going to need super attack, super defense, super, or no, not super ranging, just regular ranging, uh, super defense, and a magic potion. Now, along with that, you're going to need four herbs, uh, five Grenwall spikes, and one mud, one mud room, and a pestle and mortar. The four herbs you will need are one clean lantadime, one clean dwarf, dwarf weed, one clean avanto, and one clean torstal. So to begin making the overload, you have to make an extreme version of all of these potions you have in your inventory. So let's get started with super attack, converting it into an extreme attack potion. So you basically right click and select use, and you use it with the avanto. And it'll say extreme attack. Go ahead and make it. And now you have one extreme attack. Now then, we're going to move on and make the super strength. And you go ahead and combine that with uh, dwarf weed. Whoops. Dwarf weed. Right there. Make an extreme strength potion. And then we move on to the defense potion, which you combine with clean lance dime. To make an extreme defense potion. Pretty simple. Alright, moving on to the Ranging post Potion, you combine the Ranging Potion with five Grenwall Spikes. Alright, and last but not least, you have the Magic Potion. Now, for the Magic Potion, you're going to need Ground Mud Runes. And to do that, you take a Pestle and a Mortar, which all of these items, Pestle, Mortar, and Mud Runes, can be purchased at player owned shops and also at the Herbalor store. Except for the herbs. You cannot buy these herbs at the herb lore store. You have to buy them at player owned shops. Everything else, all these potions you can buy at the herb lore store. Alright, so back to this. Take the mud rune and you combine it with the pestle and mortar to get ground mud runes. Alright, and now that you have ground mud runes, you simply take them and combine them with your magic potion. And you get an extreme magic potion. Alright, and now that you have all of your potions, it's time to take it to the last step. You take a clean torstal, and you combine it with any of the potions you see here. You're going to combine it with the attack. Whoops. You have to do it the other way around. You have to select the potion and then the herb. And then you can make an overload, a three dose overload. And that's how you make an overload. Now that when I run to my bank, I can show you how to make overload flasks. Alright, to make an overload flask, you simply take two three char or three dose overloads and you combine them. And there you have an overload flask. Now if you spent a lot of money on making this overload, well you can sell an overload flask for about three or four mil. So it's pretty decent profit if that's what you're going for. If you're making overloads for PVM, it's also a easy way to save money. So yeah, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please leave a like, comment, and subscribe if you enjoyed it. And yeah, see you guys next time.